building, got gods in the building. We do not care about your feelings. We do not care about your feelings. Got gods in the building. We got the gods in the building. We got the gods in the building. Got gods in the building. We do not care about your feelings. We do not care about your feelings. Don't care about you. What's good? Just we shaking big. Watching my Babylon make it quick. My people they see us with make them say. The gods are come back to come say that they make them pay. That's what the Bible say. G is for greatest. O is for overkill. overkill. D is for dominate. dominate. F for superior. Yeah, but we win it still. Yeah. You heathens, you making me mad. So I'ma go out and prophesy. Esau wanna be us so bad. So bad. Your DNA full of lies. Sellers, the brothers, the sellers, the killers. You teaching your offspring and not to be with us. Today is new day. I can read, I can read. My God and my Bible resembling me. <laughs> we got the gods in the building. We got the gods in the building. Mark ten verse six. Because you gotta understand something. Hey brother, what's your, what, what's your name? Brother with the bottle. What's your name? Robert. Robert. So while we going over is the laws of God. What the officer just brought out is how we broke the commandments of God and then we got taken into slavery. Right. And he said how God from the beginning made man and woman to be together. Watch. Mark chapter 10 verse 6. But from the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. For this cause, now, God said he made male and female. That's why it's very important as male and female if you want to build a society. If you want our people to rise up, we got to be together. That's how we're going to multiply the seed of Israel. Because they want us to, to not multiply. They shoot us down in the street. They lock us up. They put abortion clinics in our neighborhoods. You understand that? That's why they, we got to come together. The, the, the man got to take his right role and the woman got to take her right role. Right. You understand that, sis? What's your name? Andrea, are you are, are you in a relationship with somebody? No. Okay, okay. Uh, brother, uh, do you see yourself on this side right here? Your nationality? Not really. Where are you from? American black. American black. So your your so-called nationality is American black. But God called you Judah. That's right. What about you, sis? Same way. Same way. American black. So let me. This is Black History Month, right? Let me know a little history about Black History. Remember, whenever they speak about history, whenever you think I about know, black history. It's normally the shortest month of the year. Uh-huh. What's our history though? What what they always show us? Uh, mainly slavery, uh, murdering, uh, killing, you know. There you go. They show us slavery. This always starts off with slavery. Right. Now we gotta start asking ourselves a question. What what were we doing before slavery? Who were we? How can we be um, so-called African swing on trees, but when we come here, we creating, we making invention. Where does knowledge come from? You gotta. How can men that was swing on trees walk around with line cloth like they like to say we we used to do? I thought that was hard. Yeah, they want to paint us. That, they want to paint that picture on us. <laughs> Read that. Job chapter 30 verse 30. My skin is black upon me. Job, the prophet Job, he said, my skin is black upon me. Y'all listening, young brothers? God yeah. said, this is Black History Month, right? So-called Black History Month. What you really understand is that the Bible is our black history. Right. This is not a white man's book. God right. said, my skin, what, what he said? Job chapter 30 verse 30. Yeah. Go ahead, come on, read it. Job chapter 30 verse 30. My skin is black upon me, and my bones are burned with heat. Guys, Job said, my skin is black. That's what they like to call us, right? My skin is black. So if Job is black, let's see who else is black. You ever heard of King Solomon? Who heard of King, you heard of King Solomon? You heard of King Solomon? Let's read this. We're gonna, we're gonna read it. Let's, read, let's find out what King Solomon said. Because King Solomon said, my skin, I mean, Job said, my skin is black. But is Job the only black man in the Bible? Because when we look at movies, when we look at Bible movies, they all paint them white. Right. right. They only put us in the movies when they want to have us as slaves. Right. You understand that? They only put our people in the movies when, 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 when they want to paint a negative picture on us. Right. But now y'all bigger than that. Y'all got to understand that. Y'all the descendants of the children of God. Don't let nobody take that from you. You're not just some um, African-American. You're not just Haitian. You're not just Jamaican. 
You yeah. are the children of God. That's right. Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 1. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon. So this is the book of King Solomon, the greatest king. Read. Verse 5. I am black, but comely. Solomon said, I am black, but I'm beautiful. Comely means beautiful. He says, I'm black and beautiful. Read. Read it again. I am black, but comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem. As the tent of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon, uh -huh. look not upon me, because I am black, because the sun has looked upon me. What happens when the sun hit us? Don't we get darker? King Solomon says, I am black, because the sun made me darker. You know, you know who else is black? Jesus Christ. That's right. Have you ever seen this in churches? You've been seeing this in churches, right? You've seen this in movies, right? Have they ever proven to you? You seen this one? That's that's the most popular one. Have anybody ever proven to you guys that Jesus Christ is white? Y'all know y'all know the color of Jesus Christ according to the Bible? What color is it? How do you know that? Huh? I know. Okay. Then we're gonna find out. Now we're gonna give you the scriptures. So when you see anybody, it doesn't matter if it's your mother, father, cousin, auntie, friend, brother, sister, you see they got this image. The hell no, that's an idol right there. Let's find out what color Christ is. Revelation 1. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which, short, which must shortly come to pass. So this is the book of Revelation. The revealing of Jesus Christ. They like to say nobody's seen Jesus, right? Every time you say what color is Jesus, nobody know, nobody's seen him. Then who did they hang on the cross? <laughs> if nobody's seen him, who touched him? Bring it out. Who had who he did the miracles to? Right. How did how nobody seen him but the Pharisees when they got him and put him on the cross? That's a lie. They only say that when, when they find out that Jesus looked like us, right. like That's you. Right. When Jesus when they have the white image of Jesus, it's fine. The white man will say God don't exist. But if he do exist, he's white. Right. You see that? Read. Verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet saying, I am Alpha and Omega. So John said he was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Y'all heard a trumpet blowing? If a trumpet was blowing right now behind us, what would you do? You're going to turn around and look. So he said he heard a voice, a great voice. Nobody speak like we do. When you heard a black man's voice, you know it's a black man's voice. That's right. When you heard a, a, a Chinese voice, you know it's his voice. We got the best voice, the deepest voice, the strongest voice. So when John heard that voice, he turned around. He was like, what's that? Read. Say, I am Alpha and Omega. He said, I'm the beginning, I'm the end. Verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. He said, when he looked at, he turned around, he looked. He said, wait a minute, that guy's hair is white and it's woolly. You see your hair? You see your hair? That's woolly hair. When you look up the hair of the Negro, it says woolly texture. Your hair is curly, pinky, like they like to say. That's the hair of God. That's right. We the only people with our hair. Who else in this world got our hair? Nobody. Don't be ashamed. They like to make our sisters be ashamed of their hair. They perm it, you know, they, they put weave, they right. blonde their hair. Right. Nah, we don't got blonde hair. Our hair is black. Read it again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Just like you see you have white growing in your hair. That's the hair of Christ. That's, That's right. right. It's growing just like Christ. Christ has four white. Read. Bring it as up. white as snow. Uh -huh. So white is look, it's white as it's white as your shirt. You ever seen a black man with white woolly hair? When they old? I've seen it. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. It said Christ's eyes was as a flame of fire. So now, it said, Jesus Christ has white woolly hair. Does he have white woolly hair? Does he have white woolly hair? His hair is straight. Leonardo da Vinci painted that picture. He painted that image as Christ. Read. Listen, listen, brother. 
and his feet like unto fine grass. So he looked at just Christ's feet. He says the color of brass. Brass is a color, is a derivative of brown, copper. He said his feet is brown. Read. As if they burn in a furnace. He said his feet looked so dark, it looked like they were in an oven burning. If I look at your feet, can I tell that you're a black man? If I look up, I'm not gonna see a Caucasian face. Right. I'm not gonna see a Chinese face. Right. I'm gonna see the same skin tone as your feet. Right. Right. So Christ is a dark skin, according to the Bible, that resembles this. White woolly hair, dark skin, red eyes. Right. Not like this. So if anybody tells you this, tell them they're lying. Right. Romans chapter 10 verse 14. It's important that we know how Christ looked like. Watch right. this. Romans chapter 10 verse 14. Romans chapter 10. Verse 14, how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? How can we call on Christ? How can we call on God if we don't even believe how he looked like? If we don't even know how he looked like? We like when we're in danger, we pray to God. But who we got in our head? The same people that oppress us. Right. We got the image of the same person that keep gunning us down in the street. Right. We don't have the true image of God in our head. Read. And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? Uh -huh. And how shall they hear without a preacher? How can you know that Christ looks like you if, if our people don't come out here and teach the people? That's why it's important to know. Because a lot of our, a lot of our brothers and sisters, their mind is destroyed with this. This has brought a lot of false doctrine. This is Matthew 24. This has brought a lot of false doctrine. It brought Christianity. They came and say, uh, did Jesus put us in slave, kill us, lynch us, uh, have our kids working, but yet they say John 3 verse 16, God, for God so loved the world. How can the same people who did who did that to us come out with the same mouth and say God love everybody? Bring it out. John 3 verse 16. While they were doing this, they were preaching John 3 verse 16. Now I gotta ask a question. Does God really love everybody? Read. Matthew chapter 24, verse 5. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. It says many people shall come in his name and saying, I am Christ. How many Christian religion is out there? Name me one. The seven-day Adventists. Name me another one. Jehovah's Witness. Jehovah's Witness. Catholic. You know another Christianity religion, brother? So many, I don't know. There, there you go, there's so many. Read it again. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. They came in the name and the image, the false image of Christ, and they deceived all of us. Because that's not the image of Christ in the Bible. Right. Did you know that, brother? That's not the image of Christ in the Bible. So we got deceived. You know, do you know why we got deceived? Bring it out. Because how, how is it that we read it out of the Bible that Christ has, has dark skin, white woolly hair, just like I see your beard. So, why you think it's illegal for us to read for 20 years? There you go. You see that? He knows. Because if you read it, we'll revolt. They will never teach you that not turn and read the Bible and say, this is us. Right. We're going through this. That's why he fought back. Right. It's a Black History Month. They won't teach you that. Bring it out. Alexander the Great, we went over there. Right. So the only way to get there was spirituality. Right. They think spiritual. We always have been a spiritual people. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. Uh -huh. And he shall put a yoke of iron. God said he, the same he that you gotta serve for hunger, serve for thirst, serve for clothing, serve for everything that we need, he's gonna do what? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. God said he's gonna put a yoke of iron on our necks till we destroy. We so destroy that we pray to a man that don't even look like us. We so destroy 
that we're willing to kill our own brother because we don't see Christ in them. We so destroy that we're willing to hurt out our sisters because we don't see them as the princess of God, the daughters of God. Right. But God said, we are his people. He did this to us because we broke the commandments. That's right. He said, until we come back to the laws of God, nothing's going to change. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.